So Andy, what are we going to talk about today? So today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite reporting scenarios in version 1. So picture this, you're the product owner, you're trying to get Agile going in your organization, and you're having to help coach some stakeholders on their impact in the development process. They may be indecisive, uh, whatever the problem, you want to help them understand what's really going on. So version 1 can help you with that, and so I want to show a couple reports that illustrate uh, what happens during a release from a scope standpoint or scope change uh, perspective. So let's take a look. So the first report I think will help you is the project dashboard, and specifically on that, the trend of the total estimate. So what this will show you is how well did you understand the scope of your release at the beginning, in this case, you know, 228 points, till where you are now, which uh, you're seeing is uh, over 270. So a lot of work has gone into release since we started uh, delivering on it. And understanding that reason can sometimes be helpful uh, for you to do better the next release. So trend of this whole estimate shows you that, hey, we've got a lot of scope increase going on. From there, you can use the project scope change report to drill in and see what exactly is causing it. So in this case, I'm going to run the report so its start date is just after we finished our uh, release kickoff and the end date's today's date. So I'll run it. And from here you can see the, a summary of what's happened. So we increased by 44 points. What are the actual items that were added? So you might be finding that the items added were because we've got some defects coming in, or they might be because we're further understanding the, the work in the release, or just sort of adding new items into the release. So that's what could be here for the added. Removed could be items that you've, you're further identifying and breaking down those large epics. That's the case here with order check. Um, and then change could be if you had a, um, it's a new knowledge about a particular item in the release. So by going through this list and helping make sure the stakeholders understand what's in it, uh, you might find some things where you could help them uh, have a better influence on how the software development team is delivering. So I hope that helps, and look forward to seeing how your conversations with stakeholders go. Let me know how they go. Bye-bye.